What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day, week, year, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. So, as of the other day, not on the account health as such, but at the very top here, you can see as of the 3rd of August 2023, they were looking to change the way that people get paid in terms of their funds, their re not reimbursements, sorry, <laughs> the money they're owed from Amazon for sales, uh, to a delivery date based reserve known as delivery date and then add seven days so whenever the delivery date is of a product it then adds seven days and then that's when you'll get your money basically so many of us well i believe many of us including myself have an older account meaning we could do instant disbursements when i mean instant disbursement i don't mean literally like 20 times a day i mean one every 24 hours so basically every evening i would go onto amazon between like 6 and 10 p.m and i would just draw down my money and then it would obviously take about three days three working days to arrive and I would keep doing that every day so it, pretty much every day I had a nice flow of cash obviously smaller amounts but I'd have a nice flow of cash going into my Amazon uh, sorry into my business account obviously good for cash flow all that kind of thing then there was this notice so obviously it's been talked about a little bit around the communities uh, it would be interesting to see what happened with this so it'd be interesting to see also what happens with other people that have this uh, similar impact potentially on your account. So what I then did is I did a drawdown uh, on the act on the third. So on the third, it actually allowed me to do the instant, uh, the 24 hour disbursement. So I did it and I was like, okay, uh, maybe it hasn't come into effect yet. Maybe I need to wait and see what happens on the fourth. So again, I waited till today and then I jumped on. And as you can see, it has now put my account pretty much into what pretty much the majority of all newer sellers, I would call them. People who have got a newer account, as in the OG account used to have instant disbursements, uh, well, 24 hour disbursements. Then at some point they changed it to uh, pretty similar to what they've got now. I think it was 14 days, but I can't remember exactly what it was. But to me, it's pretty much the same as now. Everyone's gonna have to play the same ball game. And you can see here, this recent disbursement I had on the third, it actually didn't even work it actually got cancelled so the one i even did that allowed me to do it it clearly could it takes time to process and everything and then they obviously updated their policies they obviously rejected it uh, and put it into basically um yeah into that and then the funny thing is is that i had an amazon loan sitting there for a little while i thought you know what i'll uh, renew my loan and get a little bit of money because i'm preparing for q4 now even though it's all august but i am and I thought, yeah, that'd be good to have. Um, so yeah, I obviously initiated the loan because obviously in terms of cash flow, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to, to adjust to the new changes. Obviously, if you've been used to it forever, you've not had to, you know, you would have put processes in place from the beginning to account for the, that delay in, in funds. Um, but I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Obviously now it's happened. I was gonna leave probably another week to take the loan just because obviously I didn't wanna, well, I didn't need it right now. I was able to get my funds right uh, every day but now obviously I have to wait till the 17th as you can see here um, and so obviously that's a couple of weeks time which is gonna obviously cause me I wouldn't say it's gonna cause me problems but it's gonna be it's gonna be annoying also <laughs> it's, yeah, it's gonna be annoying when it wasn't before right because now I have to actually be aware of it and manage that as an extra layer of processes right uh, the funny thing that I was gonna say is I took the loan I thought okay the loan will come through fine and I just that'll be like my intermediate intermediary like cash flow problem sorted until the next one comes through obviously this will build up over time um, for example right uh, so I then took the loan obviously I got accepted uh, instantly accepted and then I checked my emails to look at the amount that I was gonna be given because obviously I wanted to check because you know there's issues here and a good more than half of it more than half of it went in to this amount so basically I think it almost feels like I don't know the exact amount that I got but 40 40 percent I actually got and the rest I won't get for another two weeks and I'm thinking hang on that's got nothing to do <laughs> like this might be something that I query this has nothing to do with sales, with product sales. However, you are holding that loan amount for two weeks. And obviously then it's gonna take a couple of days to come to my account. 
and I'm going to get charged on that. So I can't utilize six, uh, not 6,000, but let's say five grand. I can't utilize five grand. Is, yeah, in, in grand scheme of things, it's not a huge amount of money, right? But it's still 5,000. I can't utilize that, but I'm going to be getting charged interest for two weeks. How does that work? And so it was just weird because that would never happen before. I would do it. I would literally just click the button. Uh, actually, you could do two two uh, disbursements within 24 hours because what would happen? You would do one last night. This morning you would take the loan, and everything that the loan, including the the balance that you can withdraw, would, would then get instantly dispersed as well. So you would have one last night, and you would have one today. Well, 12, 12, 14, 15 hours later, if you did it in the morning. Obviously, I would I had to wait 24 uh, another 24 hours again to do the next one, but you kind of get what I mean. And so it was just like, not only have I been like, screwed, not screwed over as such, but like not only is that those changes become a little bit annoying now having to obviously be aware of it and, and sort of manage cash flow better or differently, that a big chunk of that loan isn't, isn't even going to be, you know, allowed back to me until another two weeks time or two and a half, you know, what is the, is the 17th? We're at the 4th, 17th is here. Uh, plus, I'm not going to get this till like the 20, 22nd. And it's like, so you're, I'm taking a loan and you're basically holding that loan for an unknown reason. Just thought it was like, a, you know, it's just like, come on, like, yeah, you know, it's hard enough on Amazon as it is, right? And uh, then you go and just not only change one thing, but then they change something else on top. And maybe that's something that people have. Maybe people that don't have a, you know, 24 hour disbursement account, that is actually normal. But for me, that just sounds really weird because it's not related to sales. There's no delivery date plus seven days related to this. And you're going to get charged interest on it. They're not going to hold that amount back interest charges. So you're getting, you're paying interest on money that you haven't even received. And it's not like it's in the system to be processed, right? Like a couple of days. It's literally not, it's just, it's Amazon's money right now. They're not going to send it out for another 10 days, whatever it is, 15 days, 14 days. Then they're going to send it. So they're basically getting interest from me for money they have that they could use to spend if they wanted. They have two weeks to spend my money to make money. And I'm getting charged interest on their own money that they have in their own account and they are spending. I just thought it was absolutely bizarre. Anyway, going to leave the video there. Bit of a weird one, bit of an interesting one. But, you know, maybe that's normal for people. So if it is, let me know in the comments below if that's kind of like something that you, you're used to. But for me, that is just like an absolutely mind-bending, like what the F moment because it doesn't, it, it makes no sense uh, in any possible scenario. Maybe there is a possible scenario, but I just can't see it right now. So enough from me. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.